What's up, everybody, and welcome back to the channel today. Now, today we're going to be talking about the new film Jiu-Jitsu, which is going to be coming to theaters on demand and digitally November 20th. But we're not just going to be talking about the film. We actually have a special guest. A, this is like an amazing opportunity. I, I so can't wait to get into the interview. But we're going to be talking to the director, the co-writer, and the producer of this film. And again, if you don't know what Jiu-Jitsu is, I'm just going to break it down to you really quickly. It's a martial arts science fiction film for all you fans that is like delivering some amazing action, very authentic, action-packed, non-stop combat. To put it in a simple term, this is Mortal Kombat mixed with Predator, folks. We're talking to Dimitri Logothetis. Lo Let me make sure I spell this right. Logothetis. Logothetis. There we go. Yes, yes, yes. Dimitri, how are you doing today? I'm good. I'm great. Thanks for having me. How are you? Pretty good. Pretty good. Um, again, fans, if you made if this name doesn't quickly comes to mind, let's just say that the 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 master behind the kickboxer franchise, which I know films that if you're a fan of my channel, I know you're a fan of that franchise. So, but um, I, I cannot wait to talk about jujitsu. This is literally when I think about what I want in a film, this was it. I had said it in my review, which will release um when embargo uh, lifts, is that we all grew up liking this style of action and you, you when you when you talk about combat you bring the most authentic to the big screen and then you're adding in some science fiction to this okay now you got my attention here <laughs> <laughs> i but, tried um you know i try to make films that i like to watch and i yeah. try to make films that i enjoyed watching when i was a kid and growing up and i thought in number one like you said authenticity uh i think you can't make a martial arts film unless you have an authentic martial artist, uh, Jackie Chan, Donnie Yen, you know, Jean-Claude Van Damme. I mean, that is expected. And so with that in mind, uh, I got Alain Moussi, who starred in the Kickboxer uh, franchise that I brought back, Kickboxer Vengeance and Kickboxer Retaliation. Mm -hmm. And so I brought him into jujitsu. And then I also brought, um, you know, a, a bunch of other martial artists with him including Tony Jaw, who a lot of people love. Yeah, uh, yeah. Juju Chan, who starred in uh, Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon 2. Mm -hmm. um, and then my martial arts uh, team that I brought from Thailand uh, is throughout the movie. Yes, yes. Uh, I just love how uh, you continue to grow in your profession. You just continue to show versatility in your writing and your just the creative process and filmmaking. And I love how each and every film you deliver just continues to get bigger and better. And as you just name some of the stars here, as you can see, like folks, if you've been following them for a while, you see like every single film, more and more names are being dropped in. And there's a name that you didn't name that I'm going to uh, talk about in a second. But yes, you worked with tons of notable uh, in, in martial arts legends and experts from all over the world, from GSP, Dave Batista, John Claude Van Damme, uh, Frankie Edgar, Mike Tyson, and then this film. You add the Grandmaster and Nicholas Cage <laughs> yeah, yeah. into the mix. But I, I do want to know, like, what type of conversations did you have with him, and then how did you have to position him? in this role amongst the other martial artists in this film? And what did you obviously learn from him being uh, on set? Well, you know, Nick Cage, he's just such a wonderful consummate actor. Uh, he embraces every genre. Uh, he really brings 100% to every role. Uh, you know, that's how he won an Academy Award. And he is really the um, backbone of the film. He is a mentor in the film. He's a mentor to the leading man, and he happens to be a martial artist himself. I mean, he yeah. trained MMA uh, for years with some of the best in the world. But when he first got off the plane and he sat down with me, the very first thing he wanted to know is exactly how to approach the character. He had a bunch of thoughts. Then uh, we spent several hours together. And then the very next thing he wanted to do is he wanted to go and, and work out with the stunt guys and mm. start to look So, I mean, you can't ask for a better guy than that. Um, He's, he's lovely to work with, and he brings, again, you can just tell in the trailer, he's in 100%. So without yeah. that, you can't sell the authenticity of the story. You're 100% right. And I will say, even uh, to, to, the, to the fans here, uh, he's not, Dimitri's not selling the, the film here. If you look at the behind-the-scenes uh, uh, pictures of this, 
you see Nicolas Cage right there, totally invested. And like, you know, there's been cases of when, you know, celebrities are just off to the side because maybe they don't fit the mix or don't fit the note. Nick is right there in there, right next to you. And you can just tell how engaged he is. And when you see the film, you're going to say like, oh, he was 100 percent investing in it. And it's such, it's such a good blend. And even with his uh, even with him, uh, his role in here, he still adds a little bit of uh, Nicolas Cage, his charismatic self in it. So it's such a good blend. And like it just seems like a perfect match made in heaven to have him in this. Like I, I, I can't even imagine how you felt when he says, "I'm in." Oh, I loved it. Are you kidding? I mean, again, he's uh, he's more of the European style actor, meaning that you know European actors work a lot. Yeah. By the time a European actor uh, ages into his career, he's made over a hundred movies, yeah. and 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 that's how they get really good. And I've had several conversations with Nick about just that. And he said to me, he said, look, he said, I can't just sit around. He said, I need to exercise my art. And he said, I, and, and again, like I said, he's committed. Once he jumps into a character, he just is committed 100%. He's focused and he brings a lot of entertainment. And that's what you want. Yeah. So you, you spoke about Elaine Missy, who, you know, who plays Jake in this film, who's your uh, protagonist. Now, you again, you you worked with him tons over the years, but can you speak a little bit more about your friendship and then just the trust you have in him being the lead for this film? Well, look, you know, I'll tell you something. You brought up uh, Mike Tyson, okay? <laughs> and, uh, and, and I had him in Kickboxer Retaliation. Mike is a, just a great guy and a good friend. And so Alain says to me, he's a six degree jujitsu master, and he was sitting there working out some material with Mike. And literally, Mike is coming at him. If you've seen Retaliation, he comes at him down a hallway and he just starts throwing a bunch of punches. And, you know, Mike is in his 50s and Alan is, uh, you know, in his 30s. And so he said, I said, listen, I said, you got to be very careful because I said, you know, uh, he could clip you. And he looks at me and he says, no, don't worry. He goes, I'm really quick. So, of course, you know, Mike clips him right in the chin, like right away. <laughs> and, you know, and you got to love it. Alan looks at me and he goes, oh, my God. He goes, I just got hit by Mike Tyson. I just got hit by Mike Tyson. I said, I'm not going to let anything happen to this chin. So you can imagine how much he loves uh, martial arts and how much he loves great choreography. Yeah. So he is so enthusiastic. Now, here's a guy who's six foot one. He weighs 205 pounds. He can do a front aerial. He can do a back aerial. He can run up the side of a wall. Okay. Yeah. Now, if you know anything about physics, try to see how, how that's possible. <laughs> Speaking of Mike Tyson, Mike Tyson has a fight coming up November 28th. I mean, look, yeah. folks. <laughs> Just to put that into perspective. <laughs> right? He's still the world's most dangerous man. So, uh, you know, good thing you didn't have no really severe accidents on set with <laughs> him there. <laughs> and good luck to Mike Tyson. He's one of he's obviously a, a living legend, and him still doing it. Just I, I know that's got to just bring you joy just to see him and his dedication all from all over the years. And now he's back putting on one more for the ages. I love it. So, I want to kind of because. If anybody again has been following your career knows that you have had your foot on the gas and the pandemic was not slowing you down. So I'm going to jump forward just a little bit. I know fans are going to love jujitsu. I've seen my friends already raving about it. I can't say nothing to them about it already, but the hype is there. And I know the audience this is, this is going to aim to. So without a doubt, I'm putting it in the air that the success is coming as soon as this releases. Oh, but we know you. you. We know you. You're not just a. You're not just a person who's a one and done. Where are we going with jujitsu after this? That's right. I'm asking for what is going on in the head of yours with the sequel to this film. Well, I mean, you know, look. I launched it by writing a comic book. Yeah. Specifically, so I could see where it would go. We've got science fiction, and I've already been asked by the distributors around the world to make jujitsu too. Oh um, yeah might be a prequel might be okay. a sequel i don't know we'll see how it goes <laughs> <laughs> but i guarantee you i guarantee you one thing we're going to up the action we're going to double the enthusiasm we're mm. going to give everybody uh, another team that'll blow everybody's mind 
That is awesome. Yeah. I, I, again, like <laughs> you got Kickboxer Armageddon coming soon. You're working on a Man of War. You're just constantly working. So it was a, without a doubt. And then you had something here for you. <laughs> right, I do. I so, do. So so if I if I can uh, tap your mind just one more time here. Now, you've worked with some of the most notable martial artists all over the world. There's still a lot of good ones out there that you haven't worked with and some who are just quickly on the rise. Is there anybody that you may be a fan of that you you think potentially you may pick up the phone and make that call for this? Well, I mean, listen, <clears throat> I'd love to get Scott Atkins on screen. I love some uh, Scott. Shows, right? Yeah. Um, I'd love to get Donnie Yen on screen. <laughs> I think that would be a really cool thing, you know. And, uh, you know, I mean, they're, they're some of the best martial artists out there. So I really think if I could put them together in one film, um, and especially perhaps if it's possible to bring Nick back, uh, create a whole nother team. Oh, yeah. See how it goes. I'll, I'll just throw a name out there. One, of, one person I just love from over the years. And I can just, whenever it comes to martial artists, it's was it's so hard for me to not want to toss his name into the hat. And that's Michael Jai White. I would think that. Oh, my God. I love. You know something? I met Michael Jai White uh, over at the American Film Market about two years ago. We talked about it, actually. Ooh. So we talked about it together. <laughs> oh, I'd love to bring him on. Are you kidding me? <laughs> so, look, last question here. Now, I, I'm going give to give the floor to you. If you had to describe jujitsu to fans, I gave my little short little uh, synopsis of it, but how would you describe it? And and, and, I, and what can fans expect once it releases November 20th? Well, I can tell you that uh, you wanted to have, if I was watching the film as uh, the little boy or the little girl in all of us, no matter what age you are, okay? Uh, martial arts films are about uh, real life superheroes. So when you're looking at a martial artist who's authentic, you're actually believing as opposed to a Marvel movie that if I train hard enough, I could probably do what they do because that's exactly what they do. Okay. So my guys all do everything that uh, you see on screen. There's no tricks. There's no uh, There's no gadgets. It's them actually doing it. Okay. So when you watch the film, I wanted to pick somebody that was just unbeatable that they had mm -hmm. to fight. And then I put together a wonderful team. Each one of them had their own individual skills and then I've got some sequences that you'll see in there that are oneers, what I call oneers, where we have a very long fighting sequence. I pull the camera back and I let the martial artist himself show show off their skills. So I have a, so I have a feeling that you're going to see in one sequence where they take out between twelve and fifteen guys in a row. Yes, <laughs> you they, said you know, it, not me. <laughs> and they keep going and going and going, and I just. I just, I just think you're going to really enjoy yourself. So please go and watch uh, Jiu Jitsu. Uh, it's going to be available November 20th. I really hope you enjoy it. And then I've got some other cool stuff coming for you later. All right, folks, you heard that's from Demetri himself. Uh, again, get out there and support this film when it releases by whatever means uh, necessary. I will say, if you are one of the blessed people who has the opportunity to see this in theater, oh, you are in for a treat. But if you're not, Video On Demand will absolutely do you justice, as that's how I watched it. So, But Demetri, again, much success. I hope to talk to you really soon. We know you're going to keep working. I'm already on board for Jiu-Jitsu, too. So uh, we'll see how, how, how quick your turnaround is, because, again, you're just continuously working, working, working. But much success and, success and love to you, man. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And to you, too. Be safe. Right on. Right on. Thank you so much for watching, folks. And we'll catch you very soon. Bye-bye. Right,